Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about Marvin Lewis and how, uh, you know, given that the Bengals are, you know, a feline species, so to speak, and they say cats have nine lives, uh, you can really argue that Marv right now is on his fifth life. Uh, let's go back uh, a decade to 2008. Um, Honestly, that was probably the first time where you could have really made a strong case for the Bengals to fire Marvin Lewis. Uh, that season, they finished 4-11-1. Uh, that was also a time where they had a lot of those legal problems going on with players on the roster. Um, that was their third straight season of no playoffs. And, you know, 90% of teams don't let coaches coach for three years without any playoff appearances. So that was time number one. Uh, time number two was, I would think, the 2010 season. That's when you uh, had, it was the final season of Chad Ochocinco. They brought in T.O., so there was kind of some drama there. Carson Palmer was at the end of the line uh, in Cincinnati. And while they made the playoffs the previous season, they didn't make it in 2010. So that was kind of a four- and five-year stretch where they didn't make it. So uh, that's another time where he definitely could have been fired. The third time Marv could have been fired would have been after the 2013 season. Uh, that was their third year in a row of making the playoffs, uh, but it was also their third straight wild card, card elimination. And not only did they get eliminated in the wild card round, they got embarrassed. Uh, the Chargers were 8-8 eight and eight that year. Uh, the Bengals had already beaten them out west. And basically, the Chargers came into Cincinnati that fateful day in January 2014, and they just did whatever they wanted to against the Bengals, who looked absolutely lifeless. In fact, that might be uh, one of the times I've been about the most angry with this franchise was after that game. So that was time number three you could have been fired. Uh, time number four was after the 2016 or 15, I should say, debacle against the Steelers uh, in the playoffs where the Bengals were, as everybody knows, on the verge of finally breaking through, and then they had late-game meltdowns, uh, you know, every Adam Jones and Vontez Perfect and all that. So um, that was definitely a time where I thought that he really needed to go. Like, he had finally lost this team. Uh, that was their best chance, and that team really underachieved. So those are four times when... Uh, Marv, you could have made a strong case for him to go, and uh, it remains to be seen whether or not he survives a fifth time. Actually, you could even say sixth, but uh, as he approaches a situation where he could be let go from his contract, um, they got two games left. Now, this time last year, they won their final two games, and that basically prompted Mike Brown, I think, to keep him around for another season, so... It remains to be seen. Uh, if the Bengals finish the season on a three-game winning streak, let's say, then we might be having the same conversation next year because I really think both parties need to move on at this point. So anyway, those are my, some of my thoughts about Marvin Lewis and how basically uh, he's like a cat working on those nine lives and he's up to five now. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.